Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kirby 64. Sorry about that. That needed an adjustment. We're on to World 4-3, and for this one, we do have a required power that is in level for once. We have to use the drill. The best power. Not even kidding. I legitimately love this power. Because one, it just means you hold it to win. And it goes through absolutely everything. Yeah, see? Enemies, you kill them! Yeah, just like that. Also, we needed it to get the, the crystal shard right in front of us, but because I sent it through the level, it broke the block. There is an orange and brown block here you do have to destroy with this power, but you can destroy it early by sending it along the path. <laughs> I just love this. This this is a great power. And that really, really makes me lament that they've never tried this again. Especially with the addition of new powers. Like, imagine Mirror Sword. Like, where you just have like, a bunch of Kirby reflections with swords dancing around. Or something like that. But that would be really cool. And I kind of wish they would try it again. But that's neither here nor there. Because for now, we just have to go through this level normally. And yeah, that's the only power required for this level. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. And this is a big unfortunate thing. Uh, the next level has a required power that we cannot get in level. Which, to me... Kind of bad game design. But for now, I'm going to grab fire. Woo! One, because fire's my jam. Like, fire magic's always the coolest thing to me. Like, you're shooting fire. Like, how is that not the most awesome power? Anyway, over here. Adeline is looking at an umbrella, telling us what we have to do in the next room, which is make a pattern. So, this is tricky. There are three possible patterns this can be. Uh, umbrella, top hat, or pizza. Top hat is the easiest. Like, no, 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 I screwed up. Thankfully, you can just go back and reset the room. I don't think you can go back if you exit to the right, though, so be careful. Just take it slow. And that's one half done. There we go. And boop, boop, boom. But yeah, there's three possible things this can be. Umbrella, pizza, and top hat. Umbrella is the easiest. And top, and pizza. No, uh, not, umbrella is not the easiest. Top hat is the easiest. And pizza is the hardest. I'm sorry, I stumble. <laughs> Awkward sneeze. Don't even know what you are, I'm killing you. But now we have some falling platforms. I just love the Fire Great Sword. Shame I won't get to use it all of the next level, but we get an equally awesome power. And boop. And boop. Boop. I just love it. Like, you just have to touch things with the swords. They're awesome. Like, I honestly, I think the sword powers are the best ones in the game just from how much versatility they allow. Like, it lets me be a little reckless and dangerous. Because all I have to do is turn around or press B and whatever's in front of me either dies or takes damage. Also, I can't! I couldn't jump with the sword out. Well, uh, we know where that crystal shard is. You give us nothing. That was- that 
That one's on me. I should have known that by now. And, yep. Oh, that was a snipe. Well, okay. Double rock. Big Kirby. I am the big... I am the big curb. Fear me for... I am big curb. I am big hard curb. Yeah, if I sound a little out of it right now, I'm actually recording with a bit of a migraine, which I don't recommend. Okay, yeah, the crystal shard was gotten. The crystal shard was gotten. Don't... Okay, I can't... I can't be using powers that liberally, but I like the powers. So sue me. Like, they're fun to use, except cut. Cut, in, cut on its own is kind of bad. And these rocks spell out Kirby. And these things follow us, but because we're just as fast as them, they can't cut catch up to us. Yeah, one up. Doo -doo. Now, I will say I did... I haven't gone back and gotten this uh, last crystal shard just for reasons I'm too lazy. Now, for this next world, we need double ice. This is the easiest world to get double ice. I'll see you in a minute. And now, we're back. I'm able to do this with double ice. This power, at first glance, seems kind of dumb. Because you just start rolling forward with reckless abandon in a giant snowball. What you don't immediately realize is... This picks up enemies. Ow. You aren't invincible after though, so be careful. But yeah, we just keep on rolling. And... You, just, you absorb the enemies, you pick them up, then they get spat out as projectiles. It's the best plan. Also, lava level. Oh, I hate this lava level. I hate this lava level with a passion. Like, sorry, I normally love this game's levels, but this one sucks. I, I hate this one, and I hate the boss, too. Like, We'll see the boss, and I'll, I'll explain why I hate it. But for now, we get the king. The big D. Eh, I'll harm you. Oh, come on. No. So, the whole gimmick here is breaking these pillars. I hate these phoenix fucks. Oh, come on, no, no. one HP. No, 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 I need... If I if I lose, I have to get the ice power again. But DDD cannot hover for some reason. Nope! I just saw that! Damn it, no, I have to restart. Aw! Oh no, DDD! Well... Be right back. And we're back. That, uh... No, fucking... Fuck you, bird. Fuck, I... I... I know I shouldn't be negative, but those birds are assholes! Like, okay, that's not fair. DD can't react in time. Now the fucking asshole's gonna spawn behind me. Cost me a hit. 
Oh, and I was like two, uh, just a minute away from food. Now, time for the cri second crystal shard right over here. It's up there. It's actually really well hidden, and I kind of like how they hid it. Like, you're, ex you're not supposed to break all of them, but you can, and that's how you get the shard. And Kirby has DD fucking dodgeball throw him into the room. Run. Oh, or in my case, roll. This will not pick up blocks, but it will pick up enemies. Like this! Won't pick up Gordos, but at the speed this thing moves, uh, you're actually safe from them. Need that sandwich. Whoop. I love the way the camera pulls back here, though. It's a great effect. Fucking bird. I hate you. <laughs> I hate the birds. Like, they're cute. And normally I love cute enemies. But when cute enemies are assholes, I don't like them. Woo! Just dodge that rock. Also, whoop, whoop, where did they go? They just be one with the snowball. Also, I picked up that bird immediately spit it out because fuck birds. Ah, that was bad. That was a bad move on my part. Not even the game's fault, just mine. Power slide. The fucking bird is back. Like, I hate those birds. Those birds suck. Because they just speed up so fast in this level. Also, you wouldn't know, but that's what you need the double ice for. And now here begins an automated sequence. And another bird is an asshole. You'll know it starts when Kirby is ripped out of his animation. Now thankfully, I don't think this rubber bands. Or even kills Kirby in one hit. I think this just stop like hurts. <laughs> Run, Poppy Bro! And Ice Cream trying to give us full health. I appreciate that game designers. Mostly because it's very easy to take cheap shots here. Whoop. Hot jump, hot jump, hot, hot, hot. Fucking bird. I hate you. They just throw one last bird there to make fun of me for the death of King DDD that happened. I won't deny it happened. I, I screwed up. I was too reckless. And we're safe. For now. Now... Up to the left here is, there's apparently a crystal shard. I couldn't find it on my practice. There it is. That's all three. We've almost completed this world. But then we have to fight the boss next, which means I will need a different power because double ice is terrible for it. Go, 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 go. Here, don't waste time with a power. Just jump because Kirby destroys two of them at once and there's no... There's no time to explain! There's no time to explain! And we're safe. Yeah, one up. And we could fight the boss, or we can do this. Did you really think we were going to come back to a level? Like, I'm not cutting this out right now, right away, just because, like, the next boss... It, lo it looks like a giant fire guy from the picture, but trust me, double ice isn't good. You'll see what we get, uh, later. See you in a bit. And welcome to the boss. The best power, un- like, surprisingly, is Rock Electric. He did not do this attack for me. I killed him way too fast on my practice attempt. Uh, 
Ah, this is going way worse now that I'm recording. Of course! But this guy's still not a problem if you have this power. Because now that's phase one! Spoilers, there's a second phase. I'm here. Pretty much just stay at the edge of the screen. And wait for that boss health bar to re reappear. This is why a lot of other powers do have an actual problem with this guy. Uh, he pretty much can only be heard in the mouth. When he does this, get close to him and crouch. He can't hit you. And he's dead. Which means... Boom, boom. Yeah, gimme, gimme. Hi! And now we get a lovely little cutscene. Where will the crystal shards take us next? Oh no, the volcano's erupting and everything's on fire immediately. Oh no, Waddle Dee! No! I thought I think that's pretty funny. Kirby tries to eat Waddle Dee. But I'll see you next time for when we start level 5 Shiver Star. It's the Earth after a nuclear apocalypse. So let's let the good times roll.